Hey guys, welcome to Construction Cronies. My name is Chris Conkle, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the new Hilti SD5000 drywall gun. Okay, this is a very long overdue review. I realized that, but I needed some time to really thoroughly test it out before I gave you guys my opinion. Hilti is an amazing product. As soon as I went into the cordless drywall gun line, I went right to Hilti. I'd already been in my impact gun and other tools were Hilti, so I decided to stay Hilti when I went into the cordless line uh, with the SD4500, the previous version. Great gun. Um, I've had two of these. That's all I've ever had because I've only been piecework drywalling for 15 years. And the first one lasted me six years before I had to replace it. And it, and trust me, <laughs> I put up millions and millions of square feet of drywall with it. Okay, and beat the heck out of it. Uh, the second one, I had for about three years, and then I just got it repaired for free by Hilti. Uh, by far, Hilti has the best warranty in the business, okay? You cannot compare the service you get with Hilti tools. All right, guys, as you know, I'm a piece worker, and I'm putting up probably 30,000 square feet of drywall a week, and I've always used Hilti, okay? Um, since the very, very beginning. Now, over the years, I've tried the Dewalt's and Rigid and Makita guns, I've tried them all, okay? But as soon as I went cordless, I went straight into the Hilti line and unregrettably, for sure. Without a doubt, Hilti is the best brand available to drywall and steel stud uh, installers, okay? Hilti's warranty is second to none. The absolute best warranty in the business, very easy to deal with. Batteries, battery chargers, all that stuff is so easy to deal with Hilti. You literally go into the store and they switch it to you over the counter almost. Okay, it's pretty easy. It's pretty awesome. I uh, think it's a 20 year warranty or something like that. It's insane. Anyways, the new 5000 replaced the 4500. So no, the 4500 is now no longer available. However, should you keep your 4500? Should you upgrade to the 5000 right away? It's not that urgent, really. The, the 4500 is an amazing gun. The, the 5000 is lighter, it's got a little more power, a little bit more drain on battery, um, but it's a little bit bulkier, right? So the, the 4500 is skinnier and heavier, but this one is a little bulkier, uh, but lighter, okay? The 4500 is a tried and tested, true, awesome gun, okay? Never, never give me any problems whatsoever, okay? When the 5000 came out, I was ecstatic. I thought it was gonna be a huge bump up. So if you're expecting a huge difference, it's not gonna be that big. The, the, the weight is kind of offset by the bulkiness of it, but the, the lighter weight is definitely nice. I like Hilti because when you have a Hilti in your hand, you know you have a tool in your hand. Each gun performs very, very well. I've tested the the, the 5000, I've, I've done many reviews on the 4500, you can see them on my channel, I can link them in the, in the cards, uh, in the description or something for you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments because I get back to everybody in the comments. I've spent months testing the 5000. I didn't want to do a premature review uh, until I was thoroughly sure of my opinion of it, which I finally am. The, the 5000, in my opinion, is definitely a better gun, okay? So, but I wouldn't go out and buy it in, if my 4500 was in good working condition. The only reason why I bought it was because my 4500 had, had cut out and I needed it repaired and I needed a backup gun. So having two guns is absolutely fantastic, right? So if I decide to get the, 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 the collated attachments for it, I can have one for inch and a quarter and one for two inch and I'm laughing, okay? So both guns are working perfectly and, and, and I never have any issues. Well, shouldn't really say that. Uh, there is only one major issue that I've been having with the 5000. The depth, okay? The, there's something up with the depth, okay? I'm having issues um, equalizing the screw depth. I don't know if it's, a, if, it's a, if it's a power thing or a nozzle thing or if it's my specific gun itself. I don't know. If, if you guys are having similar problems with the depths of your screws with your Hilti SD5000, please let me know down below in the comments. I really want to hear about that, okay? Other than that, the gun has performed exceptionally well, okay? Um, the, the battery power, the drain, isn't that much more than it was of the 4500, okay? I can, still, I can still run this almost all day on a 5 amp battery, okay? So that's pretty good. I've tested this on everything, okay? 
wood, steel stud, everything from 15 gauge steel to 25 gauge steel, uh, wood, half inch drywall, 5 eighths drywall, double layer 5 eighths. I've put it to the test. I will testify that you will not be disappointed with this gun. All right. No matter what way you look at it, it always outperforms the Dewalt guns on site. It's uh, uh, and rigid Makita. They're not even in the same league anyways as Dewalt and Hilti when it comes to drywall. Okay. The best drywall guns on the market are the Dewalt and the Hilti. Uh, the Hilti is better because it takes a lot more abuse than the Dewalt. Okay. You can drop these things a hundred times and you're, it's not going to do anything. You know, the Dewalt's are, a little more fragile, we'll say, okay? Um, the Dewalt's are a lot lighter, okay? But I do know they also consume a lot more battery power. I see the guys with the Dewalt guns changing batteries a lot more. I have one battery change a day, that's it, okay? With my Hilti gun. So I'm confident when I buy Hilti as well that the, the, the gun, the warranty will be honored and I'll have no issues with customer service, okay? One of the biggest improvements to this gun is the, is the motor, how quickly it can stop. Right? As soon as you let your finger off the trigger, it stops, which is fantastic because when you're screwing off, okay, and say you hit a miss and you want to reverse that miss out, it's so easy, right? Oh, miss, right? Boom, boom, boom. Much more quick and efficient. Whereas the old one takes time to wind down, right? Excellent gun, guys. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna leave a link down in the video description that will send you to the Hilti's website. And I'm also gonna put an Amazon link up below as well for it. So you guys can check out the pricing. Always verify the pricing on the Hilti website to make sure that you're not overpaying on Amazon, okay? But um, I will leave all, the, all those links down below in the video description. So yes, watch the Hilti SD5000 in action. I have a lot of clips for you. I have some sound clips so we can compare the two guns together. All right, so I got all the information you want about this gun before you buy it right here. Yeah, I'll take it.
Okay, this is the new SD5000 in forward. This is the SD5000 in reverse. Here is a uh, locked off. All right. Now this is an inch and a quarter in single layer five eighths on wood. This is a two inch through double layer five eighths on wood. Another two inch double layer five eighths on wood. This is the SD4500, the A22, the old version. See how long it takes to wind down? This is uh, in reverse. And locked off. I'm gonna start with the two inch through double air five eighths on wood. And now the inch and a quarter through single layer five eighths on wood. The Hilti guns are definitely the best gun out there for drywall. There's no question about it. Uh, the DeWalt is second place, okay? DeWalt's a great product, but I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna be buying two to three guns to this, to the one healthy, okay? Because if you are as rough and as do as much drywall as we do, you're gonna need a gun that's durable and, and it's gonna put up with the abuse uh, that you give it, right? So that's the healthy gun. Any questions at all, make sure to leave them down below in the comments because I get back to everybody, all right? So this is Chris, guys. That's the Hilti SD5000 A22. I'll see you in the next video right here, guys. Bye for now.